Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. Today we are playing with training toys. Hey girls, how are you doing? The lighting looks funny, huh? Hi Milton, do you want to play with the training toy? Let's see what it's about, okay? Oh, what's this? Come here, okay, come here. Okay, so we got a really fun package in the mail recently, so I wanted to open this and see, uh, and show you guys what it is and start the training with her and Milton. So this is training toys, how to teach your dog to talk to you from the company Hi Joey Co. This special pack was designed for her and Milton. So basically these are training buzzers, dog training buzzer, and we got the starter pack. So all these four together I think is the starter edition. You have four of them, toy, treat, outside, and eat. I know it's hard for you to see because Herky is sitting right there, but this is lovely packaging. I think they did a great job, Milton stop, with the packaging. So I just wanted to show you like this. And so I think I'm gonna go online and see what this is all about. This was inspired by a dog that apparently can line up like sentences now with the different words and she just presses on the things and it makes her communicate. So, and this is the first one. Oh, we need batteries for all of them, I think. Okay, so this is what the training buzzer looks like. Do you guys remember the video where we taught Herky and Milton how to ring the bell for treats? <laughs> succeeded but Milton did not so I'm very curious to see how this training is gonna go so let me just unbox all of this I'm gonna read the instructions and I'm gonna be right back okay so I just went on their website and there's a lot a lot of material for you to download for you to read to help you out with the training and there's some pre-training as well which I think we will do so this video I think is gonna be very long or at least I'm gonna make a series out of it or something because it's gonna require a lot so if you go on their website you see that there's pre-training worksheets and then there's modeling worksheets then there's targeting worksheets and then other resources so this is gonna be quite a process for us now that I know what this is all about but I will definitely keep you guys posted along the way so of course I'm not going to be able to finish the video today we're just going to start off the video today and go through maybe the pre-training worksheets another challenge that I will face personally I think is that training two dogs is going to be quite the challenge I feel like I'm going to have to do a lot of training one-on-one -on -one with them let's get started these need two AAA battery each so just be aware of that. So these are little buttons. You put the batteries in, you turn the on button, and then there's a record button right here. I feel like you're gonna record it, and then they're gonna be able to press it, and that's what it's gonna say. So let me go find some triple some triple A batteries. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with some hey, 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 some triple A batteries, and I have a pouch full of chicken here, and I'm gonna see if even Herky knows how to do this. So. I'm gonna see how it works first. Okay, so one. Get to know your training button. Insert two AAA batteries and switch on. Press record button on side until the beep and hold to record up to 30 seconds. Okay, so this can be whatever you want. Okay, hold on. Ball. Where's your ball? Ball. So the recording is not super crisp, but okay, so this one is for food. I'm gonna say yum yum because that's the word that they know. Do you want some yum yum? 
Okay, this one is going to be outside. 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 Treat. Treat. I'm going to try to record it from a bit further. Yum yum. Yum yum. Ball. Ball. Okay, so I remember Herky being able to touch the buzzer. So we'll see how much she remembers this. Okay, look. Touch. Touch. Look. True. Touch. Touch it. Good girl. True. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Press it. Press it. Press it. No. Fine. Press it. True. Okay, so, so you see that for Herky, she still remembers sort of how to press this. So I don't think we're going to need to start from the beginning, beginning with her. Um, now I'm going to try it with Milton to see how it goes. No, Herky. See, this is the um, difficulty I was telling you about. It's because having two of them here is going to be difficult. Stay hickey. I should do this with one of them, like, not here with me, but today I'm, I have both. So we'll deal with what we have. Nothing? Stay hickey. Good girl. Herky, sit. Stay here. Good girl. So you guys saw, I think this is a good sign. She sort of started clawing at the button because I think she started... Oh, there you go. Good girl. The treats I'm using is um, dehydrated chicken. Yes. True. Good girl. Good girl. So to start the training, I'm just making her touch the button. But slowly, I'm going to have her move up to... Well, that's it. Sit. True. Good girl. Hey, hey, Herky. Herky. It's okay, baby. It's going to be your turn after. Sit. You want a treat? 
your tree. Good girl. True. So my issue right now is that she's touching it, but she's not pressing on it hard enough. So. You want a treat? You want a treat? No. You want a treat? Come on. True. Good girl. Press it. Good girl. True. Good girl, Herky. Herky, you want a treat? True. Good girl. Here. Good herky. Good girl. Okay, the camera's working right now, but I will definitely do a progress video. So this is gonna be a longer video and it's gonna be filmed on my behalf on a couple of days. But I'm pretty happy with how the girls are starting off. They're at least getting the trigger of pawing something. I don't know if they're just used to the notion of pawing or if they actually associate the button with what it is. So I'm going to continue this and then I'll report back um, on our next training day. So I just spoke to people from the team of Hi Joey Co and also a follower that did this training and they suggested that I shouldn't have started with the treat one because they might use it excessively so what they suggested is let's say I'm about to go outside right now I'm gonna put that outside button right by the door then I'm gonna try to model their behavior so I'm gonna say do you want to go outside then I'm gonna press it and then we're gonna go outside and then I'm gonna keep repeating it and then this might take a few days it's normal you don't reward when they understand this is just to model a behavior and apparently they're gonna learn by themselves so let's try it now Are you, do you want to go outside outside <laughs> Outside. Outside. Come on. Come on. Good Milton. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Ricky, let's go. Come on, let's go outside. Ricky, come on. Outside. Come on. Come on, Ricky. But then you eat the pee pee now, huh? You ran a lot. You napped the so. You napped the so. You did two things that puppies like to do nap and play. Oh, what's up, guys? Huggy, come on. Come on. Huggy! Outside? Okay, we we'll go outside, Milton. We we'll go outside. Hucky, come on. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Milton, we we'll go outside? Outside. Go outside? Hucky, go outside? Outside. Okay, let's go. Milton? Yum yum. You have one that says you want on it. Yum yum. Yum yum. Yum yum. Whoa, Herky Milton. Yum yum. Yum yum. Milton, where's your ball? Where's your ball? 
Bom. Hoje é bom. Hoje é bom. Hoje é bom. So here is just some clips of Milton with the ball modeling. I also re-recorded the recording that was in this button instead of it saying "Where's your ball?" I just recorded it to saying "ball," so it was more simple with one word. For the modeling part here, as you can see, I kept bringing the ball closer and closer to the button so that she associates the button with the ball. This took quite some time for her to understand, but eventually she did uh, understand that when she pushes the button, I would throw the ball. But here you can see that as soon as I press the button, it says ball. I throw the ball, and then I put it really close to the button, and I repeat the word ball, and then I press it, and then I toss it. So we did that over and over again, and then you can see that the next day she started to really understand what it means. Of course, I'm aware that this is not going to be an overnight success, and this is going to be quite a process for her to just understand that pressing the button means ball and throw the ball. So we are doing the most modeling that we can right now with the buttons, modeling their behavior, and then I'm confident that over time this will be able to work. So here you can see it's the next day. She's starting to push the button, but only when I am holding the ball. So this is quite a good improvement, I find. But of course, this is going to take a lot of time, and the people we spoke to say that it's very normal. It takes a couple of days to a couple of weeks. You just have to be very consistent and very patient as well. We've been working with these buttons for the past week only, and I already see that it's going to a good place, honestly. So. Let us know what you think of these buttons. If you like this video, if you want a follow-up, perhaps. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.